Thank you for joining me. Today's topic is stems. I have been thinking for some time past to prepare a video on this because many students face difficulty with stems. They have doubt about its concept, about its structure, about the rules, and about its about its uses. So, if you just follow me, I can assure you. If you follow me right from the beginning, you will have no more problem, no more doubt about it or with tense. It will be very easy for you right from today. So, what is tense? Tense means actually time. Tense means time. But time of what? Time of action. Okay. So, we perform action every time in some way or in some other way actively or passively we perform action so in order to indicate the time of action we use tense so in order to indicate this the tense is divided into three parts one is present tense another is past tense another is future tense and these each of these three tense is again subdivided into four parts so Present indefinite tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, and present perfect continuous tense. So if you just follow me, what is what? What is its use? When which tense is used? What is its structure? And what is the rule? Okay. It will be very easy. And it is really, tense is very easy topic of English grammar. And another thing, you should not take English grammar. You should not take tense or grammar separately from language because it is an integral part of language and integral part of our life okay so you take it as a part of language that is english language and as a part of your life okay next present tense present tense you know as i say present tense is is of four types present indefinite present continuous present perfect present continu perfect continuous tense now what to understand and what to follow? First thing, present indefinite tense is used to indicate the action which you perform in the present time in normal way, in normal situation. And again, if you want to indicate some universal happening or some habitual action for all such cases, present indefinite tense is used. So what is the present indefinite tense structure? Present indefinite tense it is used subject, verb, and object. So here I use subject as he. He is third person singular number. And so with this he, the verb it, which will be used, certainly it takes s or es with the third person singular number. So he eats and rice is object. So in present indefinite tense, subject plus verb, and sometimes maybe object may not be object. And sometimes there may be some other part that is phrase, okay, phrase or some adverb, okay, this may be used, but generally SBO, subject, verb, object is the normal structure of present indefinite tense. Next come present continuous tense in the present time. So present tense is used to indicate the action that you perform at the present time. And present continuous in the present time, when any action takes place and it continues for some time, then you use present continuous tense. What is the grammatical structure? What is the structure of the sentence? Then here number one subject is used. Number two be verb is used. Number three main verb is used. And with the main verb always with continuous tense always ing is used. Because ing refers to here in such cases continuous nature. Okay. And then object. So here he is object. Is is the be verb. Eating is the main verb plus object rice is main verb plus ing and then rice is object so he is eating rice it is continuous tense next perfect tense in the present tense when any action takes place and the action is already over and we are enjoying its result in such case you have to indicate such action action happened and occurred in the present time but it is already over so in such case we use present perfect tense and what is the structure? Subject is used. Helping verb is used. Number two. Helping verb. What are helping verb here? 
helping verb is has or have. Okay, has or have. And next number three is B3, that is third form of the verb, and number four is object. So he has eaten rice. This is the example of present perfect tense. Next comes present perfect continuous tense. When which te this tense is used? When in the present time some action takes place, it starts and continues for some long period of time in the present tense. In order to indicate such action, we use present perfect continuous tense. What is the structure or rule? Subject has or have been plus main verb plus ing plus point of time or period of time. Point of time, you know, since 4 o'clock, since January, since evening, since 2020, these are all. And period of time is for 2 hours, for 3 minutes, all these things. That is point of time is since, period of time is for. So this is used with present perfect continuous tense. So what is the example? He has been eating rice for 10 minutes. This is the present perfect continuous tense. So this is the present tense. So I think if you just revise, if you just read again and again, and just a couple of times, this concept of present tense will be very easy and clear to you. Next comes past tense. Past tense in the same way, past indefinite. There are four types, past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Past indefinite, you know, past indefinite tense is used in the past tense. That is the time which is gone, which is over. In the past, some action normally, ordinarily took place. To indicate such action, we use past indefinite tense. In this tense, past indefinite tense, first subject is used. Then V2, that is the past form of the verb, V2. And then object. So I played cricket. It is the past indefinite tense or simple past tense. Next comes past continuous tense. In the past continuous tense, when past continuous tense is used? When in the past time, some action started and it continued for some time. To indicate such action, past continuous tense is used. And here structure is subject, then be verb plus main verb plus ing plus object. So, first one is subject I, then was, be verb was will be used. Past tense of be verb is was or where. So, was is used with I. And then main verb plus ing playing and then object is cricket. So I was playing cricket. Okay. Next come past perfect tense. What is the concept of perfect tense? Some action which takes place and then it is already over. Takes place and already over. And in the past time that is past perfect tense. Some action which started in the past and, and it is already over. In order to indicate such an action and whose, whose outcome is present. In order to indicate such action. We use perfect tense. And here in case of past tense, that is past perfect tense. Here, what is the structure? Subject is used. Next, number two, head is used. Number three, V3. Third form of the verb is used. And number four, object is used. So here, I had played cricket. This is the example of past perfect tense. And next comes past perfect continuous tense. In past perfect continuous tense, what is the past perfect continuous tense? In the past, some action started. In, it continued for some long time. In order to indicate such action, we use past perfect continuous tense. What is the structure? The rule, you see, subject is used first. Then number two, had been is used. Then main verb plus ing is used. Then object is used. And then after that, period of time or point of time. Okay, I used here point of time. Since is, is called point of time. And for is used. For is called point of time. Sorry, period of time. Okay, so now... What is the example here? Past perfect continuous tense. I had been playing cricket since morning. It is the example of past perfect continuous tense. Okay. Next. Future tense. Future tense in the similar way. Future indefinite tense. In the time which has not yet come. That is when any action takes place. And in normally, generally some action will take place in the future. That is the, in the time which has not yet come. That is the next time. The time that has not yet come. So in order to indicate such an action which will 
occur in normal way in order to indicate such an action we use a future indefinite tense future indefinite tense what is the structure subject is used shall or will is used number 2 number 3 main verb that is the first form of main verb is used and number 4 object so she will write a letter she is subject will is helping verb that is the modal verb and write is the main verb that is the first form of the main verb and a letter is object so these are the structures and concept next what is the concept of future continuous tense in the future time in the time that has not yet come if any action takes place and it continues for some time then we use future continuous tense suppose tomorrow day after tomorrow after 5 years 10 years these all are these all are actually talking about future tense future continuous tense and if any action takes place then what will be so what is the structure she is subject here shall or will is used number 2 number 3 be is used or with shall or will be is used with future continuous tense then main verb with the main verb ing is used because in continuous tense always ing is used and next is the object and sometimes it after that object some phrases may be there some adverbs may be used here doesn't matter but this is the basic structure okay she will be writing a letter or i shall be reading a novel okay these are all structures of future continuous tense next comes future perfect tense in the future time if any action takes place and then it is it also it is also completed after certain period of time or after some time and in order to indicate such an action it will start it will end and in order to indicate such an action we use future perfect tense so what is the structure of future perfect tense a first subject is used then shall or will have is used then v3 third form of the main verb is used then object okay so she will have written a letter she is number 1 number 2 will have number 3 is third form of the verb written number 4 is a letter object okay next comes and the last one future perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense generally in the future time some action will occur some action will start and it continue it will continue for some long period of time or for some long time in order to indicate such an action we use future perfect continuous tense okay what is the structure future perfect continuous tense says two structure two part first part is in future perfect continuous tense second part is simple present tense okay so what is the first part subject is used she then shall or will have been is used in the at number 2 then verb plus ing with continuous tense always verb plus ing is used then object so what is that she will have been writing a letter and then before or unless or until this is the connecting or joining what is used because after that another action takes place and that structure is always expressed in simple present tense so what is that before or until her friend arrives so what is the context what is the concept one action will start in future time that will continue for some long period of time until and unless another action takes place so this first action is always expressed in the future perfect continuous tense form and its structure is subject will have been or shall have been plus verb plus ing then object and then one connecting word will be used and after that second part that is a present tense form that is present indefinite tense is used so what is the example then she will have been writing a letter before or until her friend arrives okay so these are the examples these are the concept of tense these are 12 kinds of example of tense their concept their rules and when and when these tenses are used okay so i think you understood and if you understood you please try to solve because i have given some examples here for you to work out to test your knowledge and test your understanding and these questions i have given as it generally comes in the form in the form of in in grammar actually fill in the blanks with appropriate form of verb in bracket 
So this comes generally in the higher and higher secondary schools, higher secondary classes, higher school. I did not solve it. I did not give the answer. You please solve. And in that case, you write the appropriate form of the you write the appropriate form of the verb given in bracket according to the tense, and then you please try to write. The example of the tense that is which tense the sentence is in if you write then your concept will be clear and it will be clear to me too that yes you have understood exactly as I wanted to make it clear to you and it is fully clear to you okay it will be very helpful for you you try to solve and send your answer in my comment box so that I can rectify correct and check and confirm yes your concept is fully clear on tents. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Till next we meet again in my next video. Okay.